just some advice here. Make sure when you're following the instructions that you are working with the type of motor that you got with your CNC machine. Okay, folks, um, what we're doing here is we're getting down the, uh, the Z-axis and we got to remove this plate. So there's uh, 10 bolts, five and five on each side. And we're just gonna remove these. Just set it aside. We got to take this cover off too on both sides. And, and the reason you do this is to get to these mounting holes. So in this package, You've got a collar for the motor. Then you have, uh, these are the set screws, I guess. Let's see, oh, these are the dust cover screws. So the rest of the screws that go in here in a bag, they only put enough to hold them during shipping. And then uh, here are your screws for here. And that ball screw is, looks like it's got grease on it already. Yep. Which it's gonna take eight of these tapered head screws. It's going to take five, uh, five millimeter uh, Allen wrench. And we're going to go ahead and get everything set up over here at the table. Simple installation here. It'll only go on certain ones. So we'll go ahead and get some Loctite on two of these. takes care of that portion. Um, next we'll reassemble all this. The two covers, a uh, Z-axis plate. And then we'll go back and mount the motor and we'll be back. This is the stepper motor that's gonna run the Z-axis up and down. Just some advice here. Make sure when you're following the instructions that you are working with the type of motor that you got with your CNC machine because um, the height difference from the top to this uh, motor housing does vary from 20, NEMA 23s to NEMA 34s. These are NEMA 34s, so I'm set at, a, at 30 millimeters. So you take your set of calipers and get that height correct, tighten it up, and, and that's what you have to do here before we go to the machine and set this motor uh, on and install it. And it's gonna take four, six 16 millimeter cap screws and we're going to install it on the machine. It takes a five millimeter uh, Allen wrench to do it. 
So I'm going to position this out the back because this shouldn't move. Only this is going to move. So we're going to position it out the back. And all you need to do is get that coupler lined up. Get these screws in there. And I got an extra uh, height um, on this Z axis. Just tighten these up. And that takes care of that. So now all the motors are installed, the gears, everything should be properly tensioned. And uh, we're going to start moving on to the. I think the cable trays are next and then getting the electronics installed um, and then probably uh, get to this uh, router portion on this. We'll come back. Thank you.